or I'm a real big visual guy. I like to paint these visual images. Imagine uh, that a stranger walks up to you and puts you in a stranglehold. He's like choking you out real bad. You know, he's really putting some serious pressure on you. He's choking you. And you're sitting there, you're scratching your claw, and you're trying to get out. And then the same guy who's trying to strangle you, he lets off at like 20%. He just backs off a little bit. He stops squeezing quite as hard. Would you then, right, while he still has his hands around your neck, would you then be like, hey, listen, I got to be real with you. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thank you for strangling me only 70% as hard as you had been. You know, it really helps an awful lot when you don't strangle me that hard. You know, are you going to do that? No. Nobody's going to thank you, Joe Biden. We're not going to approve and applaud and be like, oh, we're so grateful for you. Thank you for only strangling us half as bad as you were or 75% as bad as you were. No, because you're still strangling us. And by the way, I'll say it again, based on uh, uh, Joe Biden's logic, I'm supposed to not be giving him any credit because none of it, presidents don't set the gas prices. It was not his fault. It was Vladimir Putin's fault. Everything was Putin's fault. So now, I guess when the gas prices go down, we certainly can't thank Joe Biden. I'm, I'm just assuming that they want us to thank Putin.